I don't think he has it in him to uh, safely park his car. I didn't turn off traction control, if you're curious. Oh, gotcha. I did, the, I did the classic moves. So it's only when you get under like really bad compression that bottoms out. What do you mean really bad compression? There is zero suspension travel. It is, it is all the way, it's li living in the subframe right now. Yeah, sorry, I can't hear you over my car driving around. It's fun. out there being a child. Let's get started with 2J. You ready to be an adult? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm pissed and stuff. These are our pistons out of the GTE. These are gonna go in that block today. We have plastic gauges and we have ARP rod bolts and fastener lubricant. Good times. Oh, we need our, uh, we need our rod bearings. Got the rod bearings. So we need to swap out the uh, we swap out the rod bearings. Oh, what we have to do with these bearings? Yeah, we're supposed to do it with those bearings because those ones are already worn. It's all that. I don't even know what FSM means, so for sure, man. Like something I'm not into. Is there a, for a field service manual from Toyota that maybe we could reference? factory service manual? I, this is in the, we're in the field. This isn't the factory. I don't know if you've looked around, but this looks much more like a field than it does a Toyota factory. This looks like a Toyota factory to me. We're in spec, doggy. Well, a little bit bigger than 025. Bigger than 025? Ha! <laughs> Told you. No, that's tighter tolerance. It means there's no way. This guy hates being wrong. He was. He was no, I am very much afraid of us having to rebuild this motor. Look, all I gotta say is cylinder number one is shmoney. So, Dan at Rad Industries hooked us up with everything we needed to put this motor back together. And uh, very boldly, we got standard sized bearings for the rod bearings because there was a lot of confidence that this motor this was going to be plastic okay. lube. So, like I said, it was a big risk, but. What's plastic lube? Nate was right, it paid off. I'm gonna turn this back up to 65. We're gonna put new bearings in, and then uh, we're just gonna send it home. So, here's how I know how to use plastic gauges, and it's like way deep in my memory banks. So my friend Nate, he was using plastic gauges after I had built my motor, and I was like, oh, that's how you do it. And so then I kind of like vaguely remembered that motor ran fine for the three months I owned it after I rebuilt it. So so I'm a pretty big motor builder guy. You did learn how to use a plastic gauge today. And hey. uh, proof that I do know something about building motors. Yeah. Or I read the instructions on the plastic gauge. One of the two. <laughs> We don't have oil squirters in this one. We don't need them. We don't like squirting oil. Uh, we, we want oil to stay inside the motor. If it squirts out of the motor, there's less oil. That's a mathematical fact. Well, we don't need them if we have forged pistons, but we have cast pistons. So it would help, but that's why we're gonna run ethanol. That's our trade-off. You know, in my D.A.R.E. program as a kid, they said, don't accept ethanol from strangers. That's why we only buy from trusted sources. Called Jay's Garage.
That sounds real legit. Look, I don't want to talk. How you try and press the kid and read it, you was soft. Oh, you know what's capping, homie? You don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. I just hit the stop. I don't want to speak. Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease. You gon' see the peace. You gon' see the flex when you hear these written. Trust me, you know the difference. What you working on? Well, I'm blocking the dash for the BMW because we're putting a roll cage in that we're getting from cage kits. And uh, to do that, you gotta pull everything out anyway. So I figured while the dash is out, let's try to flock it and see how that comes out. I've never done it before. So first time flocking a dash. I think I'm gonna give myself an eight out of 10. I think it's gonna be a good job. Out of 10. Out of 10? Eight out of ten. Steve's bummed today because Tina Turner died this year, so. And Jimmy Buffett. And Jimmy Buffett. We lost. Really, I mean, why Why would we go on after that? You're right. Yeah. Sometimes. It's the, Sometimes you gotta wonder. Well, is this the end of the channel? Is this? I think so, man. What are we gonna do without Tina Turner? You're probably wondering how I got here with this incredible Nate Drives PPE. I think you need some eye protection. Oh, thank you, Steve. You've lost your neck. It's Sounds right. a great time Protect to uh, bring up the fact that I'm hiring for shop help. You'll get no help here. Steve, you worked at Intel. Is this good for a clean room or no? We all look like that over there. <laughs> It is flocked to perfection. This is our first flock dash. I've never done this before. And it came out looking sweet. 2J. Two day. Alright, can you pull that off? Probably go catch it. I'm not gonna catch it. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny when he comes back and looks at these clips and he just sees that. Yeah, this is sick. 